What for you your boy Brian here once again with the reviews. But did, did you honestly think you were gonna see this ugly mug on your YouTube feed pop up? Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's ugly. It's hideous. But it's gorgeous. The mystique to it. I have no idea where I'm going with this. I just thought I'd try that. So whatever. Anyways, uh, here the review. Legends of Tomorrow episode I. Ava, I don't know what that is. And Black Lightning, the Book of Redemption, or Resurrection, I think it is. Oh, no, it's Book of Redemption. So, Legends, why y'all keep doing this? Why can't Sarah just be in love and happy? Like, why? Why? So, she, Sarah kind of place leaving the team after all this happened, her trying to kill the team and breaking up with her girlfriend, you know, a lot of emotions going on right now so he she's gonna go just take a day just take a day and get away get away from it all and just and just just relax but we all know in this world they don't get to relax like at all so she puts uh Amaya in charge for the team and Amaya doesn't doesn't actually do a bad job you know she tries to get to train Mick but then you know she has to go take care of Nate and his whatever so she leaves Zari to train Mick, who is using the fire totem to make hot dogs. Which, maybe I'll do the same thing, but let's need here there. <clears throat> so, uh, Nate figures out that in Detroit, uh, Vixen, the Vixen we know from the anime show and from when we first saw her, on the, I think it was Arrow Flash 1 or 2, um, I might have actually been in. I can't remember right now, but she's still being a vigilante, but she doesn't have the totem. Which I have a totem that's a bear, but I'm not. I'm not a bear. I'm not strong like that. Don't worry about that. Anyways, um, so they go to the hospital because she inhaled a lot of smoke and damaged her lungs, and we see uh, Carissa, Carissa, Kaw Carissa. Show up, and she's there to actually protect her daughter. Her, her, God damn, I cannot talk to protect her uh, from Mollis. So they decide, her, Wally, and Carissa decide. You know what? We need to work together. Let's get the baton off of Mollis. Get back to your grandmother, and all be right with the world. And you know, it's not a bad plan, but it, it's a bad plan. So they come up with a scheme to tie up Nate to a chair while Wally distracts um, Amaya on the ship. And Carissa was all for it. Even got the tow mic. She ain't, like, Miles just took, I don't need this. I don't got, I got all the power I need. I don't need a trinket. And then it all falls apart. So, um, Miles leaves to let Damien Dog torture Nate. Nate can't still be tied to a chair. Um, Carissa goes back to the wave ride to have a talk with um, talk with Maya. Now, you probably wonder where is Sarah in all this? And the episode is entitled I Ava, correct? Correct. So let's jump it back. So Gary shows up right when uh, Sarah's about to leave the ship and you have Ray trying to convince her to, to stay. And you know, Ava's missing, like, okay, something's wrong. So they go to her parents' house in Fresno, which Turns out, those ain't her parents. Those are actors who get paid to be her fake ass parents. Because, of course, Sarah you know, knows that at age 16 she, or 15, she went paintball and not have a sleepover. Because, of course, it's Ava. They also find out that had, in the year what is it, 20, 2213, she is a clone. That's right. Not a robot, a clone. Like, multiple clones. Like, you have security. You have, um, security, road construction, road, yeah, road construction, uh, uh, crossing guards, uh, uh, everything, literally every major thing you get there. It's just nothing but Avis, who are literally created by using the perfect DNA of every female possible. They don't make the perfect woman, which, fair enough, fair enough. And, they stumble into a lab, which they awaken one of the clones, which that clone gets knocked the fuck out by Sarah. 
But then the real Ava shows up. Not the real one, our Ava. She's like, what are you guys doing here? They, why is this area marked off? Like, come on, baby, cut the ball. Like, what are you talking? And then she sees a clone, and she passed out. She, she blacked out. Now, my question is, first off, how does she not know anything about this? Like, how do you not know you're a clone? Like, really? Rip, now, of course, we all know Rip, the lead the file like a couple of episodes ago, like she must never know about Ava and uh I guess that's one of the things because they both realize and who else would do that who else would make this area off limits who else would erase my personal file rip who recruited me rip like rip you got a lot of secrets dog like you got a lot of secrets like what else are you do you have the cure for cancer you I bet your ass do anyways back in 2017 or 18 um, Amaya and Carissa have a talk where you know you're being selfish, which I don't blame you. You willing to erase us from the timeline because you're in love with Nathaniel, like you're willing to do that. You're being selfish, and like I'm selfish. You're the one that's trying to kill me. Like you are literally trying to. You've literally threatened to kill me multiple times. What are you talking about? Both of y'all wrong. You both just need to put aside your argument. Even though I have to decide with Chris, you are being a little bit selfish. I'm just saying. I mean, Nate's all right. He's a good dude, but like, come on, you're gonna risk killing a whole family, your whole generation. Just all these vixens gone, just gone, cause you in love. It's bad luck, dog. Anyways, um. They go back and first off, this whole beginning episode, she had curls, right? Right? She puts the toe on, goes to save Nate because of course the plan falls apart because him and Damien Duck have a heart to heart, which is hilarious because he just wants his little girl back. He just wants his little girl back. And, and now you got Miles with this all this face stuff. And he's like, I, don't, I can't even torture no more. It's like they don't even feel the same anymore. And <laughs> He fakes tortures Nate. He's like, more. Just give me a little. Oh, there's blood. There's blood everywhere. Yes, yes. Like, what the? I'm, look, I don't care what anyone says. Damien Dark is hilarious in the show. Even though he's not really supposed to be. He's supposed to be really, really, really evil. But Nate McDonald, McDonald is just awesome. He's just, he just really is. Uh, Miles, of course, realizes what's going on. Throws Damien Dark to the side like he's nothing, which... I have a problem with that because Damien Dark's supposed to be OP as fuck and he's just getting tossed around. Mmm, how strong is Miles? Like, I, I need to know more about that. And Vixen shows up with straight hair. Now, that that's my thing. You're, all these women are just, just, this don't make no sense. Who, who is your hairstylist? How y'all got time to get curls in your hair straight, then go back to the way where I have curls? Explain yourself to me. I need to know who's your hairstylist, who cuts your hair. Wally, get your hair cut. The hair is awful. The fact that Miles, Miles, you try to run up on Miles. This man looks at you, literally takes your speed force, then sends it right back at you. You're fucked up. Then, of all the people, Carissa, Carissa, Carissa? Carissa shows up to help and tries again, tries to get that little piece, that little piece of, um, oh god, wasn't her, Nora back, and she's like, I've always been like this, and legit rips the water totem out your girl's chest, the only thing keeping her alive, just rips it out, kills her, like right there, and she just goes, nah, nah, bah. It was sad. I was sad. That was a sad moment. And they all leave and get back to the wave ride, which Yamaya is heartbroken. Like, she, she knew what she did. She kind of goaded her into being a hero, which she wasn't. And she died. She was not a hero, and so she died. Basic. That's just basically what it was. And Yamaya decides, I'm going to go back to 1992. I need to change this. She decides to change her family's fate, which ooh, time travel is not a good idea. So I'm interested to see where this is gonna go. I look. I said it before. I said it again. Legends of Mars hit their stride. This is like one of my favorite seasons right now. Just there's a, there's a lot of humor. There's drama. There's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of love. I really really enjoying the season. And I think there's only two episodes left. I think I could be wrong. Of the season. Now on the black lightning, how much time I got left? I got five, six minutes left. All right. Uh, all right. Since the book of redemption, so thunder 
investigate the tip that uh, Peter gave her. Finds all these people still alive, like in suspended transmission, and she goes <gasps> by the bus out. But then she realizes I could do more harm than good. Uh, let me get my dad. So she goes back, talks to her dad, like, "Hey, look, I know you don't like Uncle Peter right now, but there's some people. They're underground. They've been like kidnapped. They're about." For the last three years, so if you can like put that aside and come with me and save these people, like real quick, like you can go and they go back and they've already been moved, like those people are gone now. Thunder did like rip the whole gate open, rip the whole door open, so like, of course, they're gonna get moved. Like, y'all, yeah, you went all the way across town, probably got back in the car, drove. Nah, they're gonna be moved. They get there, of course, ASA agents show up and they start attacking your boy. This comp, these two combos put a lightning shield up. Like, runs out, does a whole somersault thing, slam, knock out enemies. They're using her like like Luke Cage and Iron Fist, like bulletproof. Ba, ba, de, ba, ba, ba. And they finally get all the guys, but backups are showing up. And <laughs> Thunder takes a breath and literally jumps through a wall. Now, I know it's a TV show. But the fact that lightning, black lightning stops and turns, see what's going on, sees all the cars and stuff. And you literally see there's like this much gap between the walls. Like, this ain't the most flimsiest wall. I know, damn what. I know Detroit's having issues, but come on. Come on. You mean to me, y'all can't get a carpenter, like, fill in the gap? There's this much space between the two. This You can fit my head through the whole wall. Like, look at that. Look at that. There's a whole gap through a whole wall you could fit. Anyways. Um, two bit sees one of Jefferson's students take green light and this experience powers, which someone they the whole van pulls up taser and just take her in the van. And uh you know, two bits goes over to Jefferson, Jefferson is like, I need to find this kid. He sees one of the uh one of the kids from the other from like one of the first episodes who shot um Jennifer with the fake blood. You know, he tries to convince him to join the program, the little mentor program. Now, Tobias was still out of town. Like, he's still recuperating. So, who takes over the 100? Lala. And no one at first questioned you know, Lala being gone, but now they all crazy. Like, you were dead, weren't you? Like, now you come back, you ask for more product for something that's not really selling over here. Everyone wants the green light. Yet, you going to ask me to get cocaine, weed, and all that. Hmm. Are you? Nah. I was dead. Now I'm alive. Someone's gonna make a profit, like. Okay, well, what do you have, Claro? Here's my mom's address. My man, your mama? Really? You wanna use your mama as collateral? You cold blooded, but all right, like. That. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I'm. Look, I'm, I don't. Care. I would never be. I could never be a criminal. I could never do it. I would never put my mama up as collateral. I couldn't do it. I would retire from the game and just go into the workforce. This is, it just wouldn't happen for me. Um, they also do some stuff with Jennifer. They show, you know, she's literally a generator of electricity. Like her, her power. She's her. Her dad's more like. Um, uh, God, not general. Uh, a conduit. He can take in energy while she generates energy. Uh, let's see. And then Lala starts seeing Will, you know, his cousin that he shot in the back of the head. And first off, Lala, how you seeing all these people? First off, who is Lala? Because me and Jackie both looked this up. You, they ain't no registry for you. You is just who is you? Secondly, you getting all these people tattooed on you, people you kill at this point. That means you're going to have a whole goddamn city on your body. That's going to hurt. On top of that, this man got superhuman strength. My man ripped a whole ear off of someone's head. Like, what the actual fuck? So anyways, um, the ASA kidnapped and tortured Peter, demanding who is Black Lightning. Because obviously, you know who Black Lightning is. So they take Jefferson from the mentor class, which it was just him and the little boy. Bring him to Peter, which Peter's like... Like, Peter's fucked up. Like, he's been beaten, waterboard. Like, he is fucked up. But my man is a tough Italian. Jefferson, like... There's a little hole, little black, I think. Peter knocks one guy down, grabs a guy. Bah, bah, bah. That's a tough old man. I'm just saying, that man is tough as hell. Um, so he lets, you know, Jefferson 
takes Peter to let him get rest, but he warns him that, you know, you need to stop this. Look for the spotter, who, someone like me who's looking for these kids. And then we find out who's the spotter. And I am angry about this. It's the goddamn vice principal. You, you bitch. You, I'm angry. You, you, you letting these, you letting these kids get kidnapped. You heartless. How, Ooh. Evil ass. Um, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm betrayed. But no, that that was pretty much this whole episode. Um, look, we've all said. I think I said before. Black Lightning. I didn't have a lot of faith in it at all. Like the comics were okay. He's a deep. He's actually a really deep character. But like, I think this show is gonna do well. I love it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna renew for a second season, which begs the question: Who could they have for a second season? You know, because I know they much. They can't be much left in the season. But who, who, who could you possibly have for the second season other than Tobias? Well, like, at this point, y'all need to bring him into the Arrow first. Like, it, 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 I know it would make it a little messy, maybe, but I don't know. Like. They have, there's probably going to be another crossover. It's going to be like all five shows. And that, that was just going to be overboard at this point. Um, Alright, but no. That's really it. That's my time because I'm about to go over on time again. Um, sorry if I'm a little lower. Dealing with some sciences real quick. Uh, that's really it. That's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, WrestleMania is around the corner. I'm excited. I will definitely try to get as much footage, like footage as I can for you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the videos. Hit the like that like button, subscribe for more. Don't forget to go to Colin Elbow Pro Wrestling T-shirts. Get your shirt 30, 20, 50, how many percent off? It's gonna be a percentage off. Using promo code GeekSquire or Super Awkward the Super Friend Aqua Parker. I am Brian. This is GeekSquire. I'm out. Bye bye.